Welcome back to our more banished soldiers. Although we've dealt with the insects, we have not dealt with the mechanoids. We did get rid of the flu, which was good, and the plague. So let's see what happens in this episode. Can we rid ourselves of the mechanoid scourge? Out here. Oh, that's interesting. Can I just claim it? If I claim it, will they destroy it for me? Claim it, see what happens. Mechanoids have assembled and defend their cluster. Ah, shit. Didn't anticipate that happening. Right, Melissa, I just want you to chuck a molly in there. Val's having a moment, so defend against this bloody mech. Oh god, there's another one too. the cactivines will attack them for me. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna undraft these guys because they don't need to be drafted permanently. Stars do that. I actually drop that shit. Got this sidearm. Oh shit, you didn't succeed. Just run away from him. No, don't fucking shoot at him, you idiot. Oh fuck, are you gonna attack him too? Ah, oh, he's gonna go at the damn cat now. Fists out, melee attack the bastard. Same with you, fists out, melee attack the bastard. damn good man, and we wandering outside the bloody the walls and getting attacked. Do have a siege break coming up towards us though. Gonna have to deal with that. These cactivines are being of hilarious assistance. He's shooting at us from there. Yep. Shit. Um, you're not able to fire at it with your grenade launcher though, are you? You will be, oh, you can't with that either. Shit. You draw it in closer, because the two weapons that we've got the most power with, we can't attack with it. One of them fucked off. Josh having a fucking salting spree. Come on, kill the bloody thing. Okay, go and arrest Josh. Bloody hell. Damned insulting sprees. Smoke's viewer has started. Just trying to read a mission, guys. Jeez. Yeah, it's not worth it. Now, I was... going to accept this quest. I think I'm going to take it for the Glitter World Medicine. We've got 24 days to do it. We've already made them all. Hutch is looking healthy. Actually, what I'll do is I'm going to get him to manually go around and collect them all. Just, it's going to take a bit of work. Okay, I'll get him to pick up all this as well. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just setting him up as a caravan before he's a caravan. Rottweiler puppies. I 
made that look a lot more difficult than I needed to. Three Rottweiler puppies, ready for training. Cool. And another cougar. Awesome. Probably going to want to leave from the bottom of the map. I'm over there. Form caravan. Yeah, I thought he would want to cut through the bottom of the map. We can get him there, but we're going to have to go... All the way around like that. I thought he might be able to cut through this bottom port map here, but... Apparently not. Oh, here we go again. Right. Oh, he's gone? Cool. I didn't realize you could get them to do it. Like, draft them to the edge of the map. Basically left the map and then went to rest. Yeah, I need to deal with him. How many more have we got left? That one's going to spawn one in a minute. That one's still sealed. Okay, what do we need to sort out? Kaprov? You've developed immunity and everything, so you can be released now. Maybe he's incapable of walking. Yeah, as soon as he's capable of walking again, he can be released. Oh, I'll unrestrict the cleaning bot now. Okay, where's that other one? Still way down there? Yeah, I've got to unrestrict the cleaning bot before I forget. What's the other one that we've got coming towards us? Another siege breaker. dropping in. Scattered all the fuck over the place. The hell was he going? Oh. How nice of him. Gee, that's carnage. They're everywhere. That's the case. Um, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Is there any military that are available? No, they're all on cooldown. I was going to drop a whole lot of military and they're all on cooldown. Well, now I'm going to get blamed for their deaths and they are the ones that chose to come and I didn't need them. Bastards. Now we need to come up with some better names for our animals. I can't normally just let the colonists name them. I can't, I'm shit at thinking of names for animals. achieve a whole lot, did they? They got rid of all the turrets, but beyond that they really didn't achieve much. Ask that turret, then get rid of that turret. No, it's risky sitting at a solo colonist on a on a caravan, but kinda didn't want to risk sending out too many other too many people. Don't want any other animals, they're all trash. 
I'm gonna go through and have a look at the people. I think Yolanda's the only one that's worth the time. Researching is primary, mining is secondary, I think. I have to bring some stuff to sell to trade, so. Sell all that stuff. I also want to try and make some silver out of this if I can. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I might buy like 20 cupcakes or something. Beer gas shell, high explosive shell. Maybe I'll just buy 50 rice seeds. Room 40. Always make more as long as I don't end up with what's happened to all of my other stuff. I can get some normal medicine as well, that'd be good. Okay, so I am ultimately overall making money because I bought 500. I'm leaving with more than that. Getting a whole lot of glitter world medicine out of it. Okay, that'll do. But when he gets back, I need to manage moving him around us as well. That other guy get down? Yeah, he did. He had an EMP launcher. He was the only one that had anything useful, and he was the last one to turn up. Uh, surely they're hitting each other when they do that. So I bought the high explosive shells to try and knock this thing out. Don't want to knock that out. Just yet. I can knock this thing out. I don't really care about the uh, mechanoid cluster. Drain the water tower. Oh, yeah. Bloody friggin' rain put out the fire. I was using to get rid of all those insects. Another one of those things spawned, yep. How much longer has this thing got? 1.3 days. Ugh. Oh, I can't stop it. Capra, if you got beaten up by a prisoner, you idiot. I'm gonna do an outfit for my people. Didn't really do much to be honest, all I did was just make it so that they won't pick up like the gas masks and stuff and just wear them around the place. I was kind of hoping we could have got a cactopine out of this if they were running up and attacking us, but because they're just constantly attacking the mechanoids, it's not really working. Siege. Wonderful. Alright, I do not have any more smoke grenades, do I? I mean, sleep grenades. These are all full with incendiary and napalm shells, which is fine. Um, am I going to have enough beds when they get back? I just still got a bed. The Yolanda can be there. Can't assign her until she gets here, can I? No. That's alright. I've got to get them to walk back around. Hopefully they don't come up in too much of a pain in the ass spot. Okay, if I turn the bottom two onto high explosive shells. Alright, so I'm going to have to hit these guys pretty soon, but what I want to happen is I want to try and hit mechanoids at the same time. Don't know if that will last long enough to make it explode, to be honest. Jeez, you only just nicked it. You need to actually hit it, because I can't piss them off and make them attack us if you don't actually hit it. Watch this one. Both good hits. Good, that's what we wanted. Right. Now you stop targeting them. Okay, a caravan arrived. Here. Yeah. They're actually going to attack them. Gotta try and get Hutch and Yolanda through all this crap. Oh, they might be. Re oh, where the fuck are you going? Okay, you're pathing to that. Go up. 
there first. Okay, well, if that's the case, I'll just go through and manually make you pick everything up. Jeez, well, they didn't do a lot of damage to that mechanoid hive. Well, they're not mechanoid hive, mechanoids that are causing the problem. Yeah, I thought they would have wiped out the majority of the mechanoids and I could have just gone in and cleaned up what was left over, but quite a lot of centipedes left. I think they took out one. Yeah, well that could be a problem. Just get moving. down here okay well there's our new <laughs> infestation holy shit they're gonna f they might finish off the mechanoids for me to be honest all right let's just get back up here and sort out Yolanda just got a primary role researching secondary mining and Tertiary is handling and training the animals. Oh, and I'm hoping they don't go too mental on us after this. To be honest, I'd probably prefer the insects to win it. The insects got this. They might break aggro before they get to me. They may not. Not totally sure though. But there are now no turrets or anything down here defending this. So once the insects gone, I can come down and get rid of all this shit, mop it up. We can actually use our whole map again. I'll see if they go past here, and I'll start getting everyone in position. Yep, I get everyone in position. Okay, now everyone should be switched to their close range weapons. Oh, Stars is in, in a deep. Maybe you switch back to your shotgun now. You've lit enough on fire. And that'd be a great weapon for a pyromaniac. Okay, so these ones can't actually be seen by where the people are at the moment. How am I going to deal with that? Um, if I get this moved, if I get Josh to move it. If I get these guys outside the wall, they'll drag them across. Yep. 
back to the door. Did any come through there? No, they haven't. Okay. Finding somewhere to store my pieces of wall. That'll do. Alright, I'll just work on getting them to destroy all these and then we'll go down here and kill what's left over here. Oh, Yolanda abandoned us. Oh shit. And I don't have any military, do I? I can't change defending force. Can't even click on it. Uh uh ha 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 oh shit. Okay, community encampments force will at least have cooled down. Arrestance is gonna be 0.6 of a day late. That's not great. Okay, well I just have to let it happen. Oh what the fuck guys? Switch to your close range weapons for goodness sake. Rot row, I want to focus on the insects. that much that time. Best available. There's no way I'm lending you four colonists for that long. I'm not doing these missions either. Very cluster, no, I'm not doing those. Okay, I've dealt with mostly with the infestation. I knew this would take a while, that's why I wanted to get two people that weren't close to a mental break. jelly. And the last thing I need to do is to release the animals. They should help with hauling some of that stuff. I also need to change Josh's work priorities so that he's back to repair and deconstruct higher than construct. Because stuff is starting to fall apart. Get those walls done. That way all the doors will be back to being open. All our policies have come into force which is making things of much better value. Um, so I need to put more policies, do my more policies thing. So I was going to put mercenaries, wasn't it? Yep, mercenaries. And volunteer service. There you go. Wait for those ones to enact. That'll help out. The fire is still burning. It has been burning for so long. Yeah, we, we knew that was going to happen. The, the quarry was destroyed in the raid though, so I've got to fix that. Yeah, I've got enough silver to fix it. Cool. Alright, I can change their squad sizes now as well. So This is because of the um, policies that came in. I have to make a new squad. I actually make some new units as well for that new squad. Alright, so I've made a soldier unit with 1500. And so I've created an office unit at 2000. And I've got some better gear that I can give them. I'll create like marksman units and special forces units and shit. Yeah, I've got to create a squad now. There we go, 18,000, roughly 18,500 points. Done. Medical goods trader. Wow. I just need the re next bit of research to be done. And then I can start tearing all these mechanoids apart. I need the research to be done before I can do that. 
Oh my god, everyone's having a mental break. No, don't pull out your big fucking beefy weapon. Can't you rescue her? Oh, he's already rescuing her, that's why. That makes sense. I'd actually leave this here just for my people to be imprisoned in. <clears throat> Badly hurt, did she get nothing really? Josh, yeah, you're actually bleeding out, so go and rest until healed. Alright, Bentley, where are you? Resting? What's wrong with you? Yeah, you're alright. Trade with them? Actually, just before I do, I'm gonna do the old home zone trick around the map where there's a whole lot of crap that I can't, haven't gone and got yet, like there. Okay, now I'll trade with them. Yeah, but he's still our best negotiator. Okay, this is the stuff I'm obviously interested in. We've got to find stuff to sell to them, though, to make it worth our while. I ended up selling quite a lot of insect jelly, because I don't think we're going to get through it anytime soon. But it means that I can buy a lot of medicine stuff, and this stuff here will stop what happened in the last episode from happening again. So that would be lovely. Well, it will stop it from happening for a while. And I've just sold off crap that we don't really need. So, yep, I'll take that. We're getting a net gain, so that's awesome. Get me to haul that stuff, and then I'm gonna go around and remove all the home zones. It's a bit of a weak spot now, isn't it? Alright, so hopefully we can shore up this a bit. Get Josh to work on that when he um, gets back up and has repaired everything. Really need one of these people to join us that can repair stuff. Okay, so I've set up Hutch, Bentley, and Val to have surgeries just to replace the bits that they've got missing or the stuff they've got problems with. So they should be coming in and getting that done. And I also looked at, once I get machining, I really need machining. Um, I can make prosthetics, which means I can do stuff like... Is it? No, I think it's stars. She's got a mangled scar on her eye, but I could take her eye out and replace it with a golden eye, and then I can replace the golden eye with an eye. I don't know why I can't replace the mangled eye directly, but it's fine. Get up. Jeez, Josh, I really need you to just to actually get up. Yeah, so the drug policy, they should be automatically taking those, which will be good, because it prevents a lot of the infections that we were having problems with. Mm. Ah, it'll get dealt with by the trader, that's fine. Just like that. Mm. Another meteorite shower. This one's down here. I'm gonna... Oh, not chop mature tree. Find out the stuff that's useful to me and leave the rest of the crap. It's gonna take a while for us to clean everything up, to be honest. Oh wow, we sold like a thousand insect jelly before, and we've still got two thousand four hundred insect jelly. I suppose Oroko had a lot in her inventory. Okay, now that you've done that, is there any other crap you need to do before? You... Oh, again, bloody people! Do you have to go back and wash your bloody hands again? You could have just taking a crap and then washed your hands. Tending to Val. Yeah, she'll get into it, I'd say. What I should do, actually, is send them into here. That did make this room for a reason. Alright, let's get these operations done. Oh, I hope she doesn't fuck this up. Nice. Oh, Kafarov's doing that one. I hope he doesn't fuck that up. No, he seems to have been fine. 
So one thing with Val that I noticed is that he's got an acid burn scar on his brain. Now, I could use the last healer mech on it, but it risks the stab scar being the thing to get healed. So I was thinking, instead of doing it that way, I'll wait until I've got the ability to replace his shoulder. So using prosthetics, I should be able to replace that, maybe. I'll see once I've got machining research. If not, then I'll just use the healer mech and hope I get lucky. Actually, maybe I'll just use the healer mech and see if I get lucky. Ah, oh, awesome. Just what I needed. Alright, come on. Come on. Healed acid burn scar. Yes, it healed the right one. Awesome. Okay, well, that, that's perfect. That's just what I wanted. Now, I'm hoping that, that, that this psychic reader will help with him getting people to join. Are these people being forced to work? Yeah, they are, but the warden's not over there to do it. That should help as well. Once he gets back up. Oh, he's, he is up. Okay, where is he? Gonna do his job. Awesome. Alright. That didn't work out exactly as we wanted. Where are you going? Having a bath. Yeah, alright. Go for your life. He's got a couple of bruises. He's alright. So even though I have these, I need to keep this zone available because the animals can't use these. Jeez. Oroko picked a bad time to have a bit of a mental break. Luckily Val stepped in. Jeez, I might need another cleaning bot. Might actually make a zone that is just for the cleaning bot instead of just having it in the home zone. Alright, where are you? Go into the cleaning bot zone. That will stop it from cleaning outside areas where it doesn't really need to because they're in the home zone. God. <laughs> Just vomit everywhere. Looks like most things that needed to be maintained have been maintained. It's just repairing the walls and stuff. That's right, we don't have any solar panels anymore so it doesn't bother us. I need to actually find someone to do my plants for me because I don't actually have a dedicated planter. Yeah, Galloway's got a seven, she's got an eight, eight in constructing. Whereas Wolf's got a seven in constructing. Wolf would be better to have his second constructor and then potentially actually get Zug in for plants. He has plants as low, but he'll learn it really, really fast. So hopefully I can get those three. I think the only one that's just set to force to work. Ver. Ah, Karpov's gone on a food binge. Nice. Once he's repaired the defences, because I think he's maintained... Oh, just that he hasn't. Everything else, I think he's maintained. I'll just get him to maintain that. Then once he's repaired the defences, I'm going to set him to a 2 on repair and a 1 on deconstruct, and he'll go around and deconstruct everything around the map. Ooh, black insect chitin medicine bags. Why the hell would I want them making out of black insect chitin? Oh, seriously? <laughs> Just make them out of cloth. Oh, man. Nothing like wasting stuff when we don't need to. Okay, so that's actually really good. I'm going to get those worn by people. I'm just going to go through and figure out who. Okay, so I'm swapping Hiroko's one out. I'm getting Hutch to wear one, and then I'm going to get... Bentley and uh, Yolanda to wear these, and then I'll get Kapov to pick up the one that Haroko drops. Her, just dropping her one because she only got six left on it. You know, when he snaps out of his shit. Why were you wearing a damn shield belt? You should. No one should be wearing shield belts. I blocked them. Oh, 
maybe I didn't. Alright, now I did. Ah, who committed suicide? Galloway. Ah, <sighs> that was the one I was hoping to get for plants work. Your mood's pretty average. Go and recreate then. I've given you the ability to recreate. Just do it. Um, okay, well, maybe if I give them bath. Where am I going to fit that in? Okay, I'm going to try and give them a bath and see if that fixes their bloody problem. Where the fuck is he off to? Really? Is that the only wood that we have on the whole map? No, there's wood right there. Fucking hell. Talk about how to piss me off. Walk the whole length of the map to get one wood when there's 71 wood right next to you. I suppose it was reserved, was it? Hey, machining is done. Right, let's get this sorted. Should be enough animal beds for them to find somewhere to sleep. Um, I need to put one of these in here as well. So I might move a vanimetric power cell to there. And then put one of these in its place. Josh, where are you? You're repairing a plant box. Can you please do the thing that I asked you to do? It needs to be done, but I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, prioritize doing that, delivering to that, and delivering to that. And hopefully, we can get it all done. Got to get that sorted. That's got to be built next. Otherwise, we're going to have a massive hole coming through into our tomb. Machining table is done. I bet he's actually building it. I don't think he was assigned to building. Okay, he's not. Okay, right, I've got to set up this machining table. Oh, that thing would be cool. Mechanoid virus shell. We can actually make those. Alright, let's do till we have 10 of them. The other ones I can't make because I don't have these particular components, cycloid leaves and stuff, so we'll have to try and get hold of some of those. Um, I can't make the prosthetics, which is a bit disappointing, but that's just how it is. I'm going to have to research prosthetics. Maybe I'll cancel, cancel micro, micro, uh, maybe I'll cancel microelectronics. Yeah, I'm going to cancel microelectronics and then research Oh, I have to research it before I can research simple prosthetics, so I'll do it that way around, and that will be fine. Cargo pod weapons. Ooh, man, plasteel mace. Ooh, hoo, hoo, how exciting. Yeah, you go and have a bath. Okay, Texas build. That's good. I actually should, now that I've got some money, have a look at my colonies. So I might look, look at putting a public market in Happiness's Basin and Community Encampment to increase their tithes. Uh, Nishore is still the only place producing wood, but I'm actually making money out of there now. I'm happy to increase my production of wood because I want to get the stuff built that's up here that's all, you know, slated to be built out of wood. So we'll do that, and then I'm also going to, well, I've got to be careful because I've already spent a thousand. I might upgrade Nishore, I'm just going to have a look at Ariston. Ariston, I can't do anything. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade Nishore. 
that should knock me down to 435 silver. Yep. I've noticed that they're just laying guns out the front for people to, you know, come and steal whenever they like. Again. Really need like a weapons trader or something to come by. Built the steel bath, hopefully they can use it for recreation. But I forgot to plumb it in like a total idiot, so Josh is gonna do that when he gets up. Hopefully it gets done before they, you know, all start killing themselves. I wanna get this built as well, but I think I still need to That blocked. No, this is the problem. Are these full? That might be the problem. That was the problem. Yeah, I still need to finish off that pipeline through the middle of there. Gotta somehow try and get Josh to do this sort of shit while he's being all pissy. I probably should have done this when there was that hole through there so you could just walk through, but I didn't want to leave the hole there for that long. Build that one. And then that one. And then I don't have to micromanage you doing it anymore. You can just do your own thing, actually, while you're here. Do that. Someone who's got a plus 20 in negotiating and everything, that's his little brain thing. He's not very good at negotiating. Taxes have arrived. 148 wood, awesome. Okay, mercenaries and volunteer service has been enacted. So, I will just have to check if that's changed my military store. No, it hasn't. Okay, cool. And burn those ones. Transport pod crash. Artistic. Really don't need an artist. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Friends with enemies. You have to look up to three outlanders for seven days. Two mech clusters will deploy nearby. The hyperweave one's kind of looking pretty good. Neurotrainer animals would be also pretty good. Uh, did I end up making any of those mechanoid virus shells? No, but she has been tearing mechanoids apart. I'd actually just change this a touch just make a little zone here just for mechanoid corpses yes yeah, so if I put mechanoids in there I'm gonna actually just swap this around Melissa what are you doing playing game of strife when you're done with that get in there and make those shells I might make 20 of them alright just having a look and I can build the better weapons cabinets now but I have to build them I can't replace them which is really frustrating so I might have to build like five of them out here six of them out here and then I'll replace these ones and then I'll build another another four let's just build 12 outside there shit how much do they cost each 70 steel okay let's just build six outside there and we'll, we'll work on that as we go and I'm gonna look at building some other stuff as well I want to get rid of these because they take up a shitload of room. I uh, should be able to get rid of them once I've got the new, all these replaced with weapons cabinets. And then I will look at putting maybe another box of crates down here. I was looking for something to try and put the shells into. I might use one of these. Yeah, so when I've got these put in, I'll replace one of these outside, maybe there. And I'll use one of these ones up here to put the shells in so they're not taking up so much room on the ground and so that they're outside closer to where they need to be. Getting some of these mechanoid virus shells now, which is good. So hopefully we can take on that mission. I can't really do anything about the gut worms. Just have to let them deal with it. It's sort of getting this stuff built as well. So what it's going to do is it's going to put these in here and then put some like medical stuff on them so that when they go to do surgeries and stuff they can take that stuff off there and use it. Um, and I need to get that built so that they're closer because I was finding that they're having a lot of problems with dehydration in here. 
um, when they were all in here. So if I put that in there, it'll be much quicker for them to get water for them. And we'll call it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching.